Uh, welcome to DGM TV at Hard Rock Hell 10, the anniversary years, and uh, I'm joined by Dorge. Am I saying that right? Dorje. Dorje, there you go. I've been corrected straight away. Yeah, man. I'm Rob. I'm the comedian and magician. I'm Rabir. I'm the guitar player. I'm Ben. I'm the drummer. And I'm Dave. <laughs> and you do, sir? <laughs> I, I play bass. Oh, well, there you go. I should have worked that out for myself, actually. Anyway, right, okay, so... You're playing at 9 o'clock tonight. Really looking forward to that one? Yeah, it's going to be great. Got a bit of a whiplash going on, though. We've been on tour seven in a row. This is our fourth gig. And last night in Leeds, I got a bit naughty on stage, and I was giving it the old, imagining I still got dreads, which I haven't anymore, and I just pulled both sides. So everything is, has become an issue, you know. I can, I can relate to that. I used to have yeah. long hair myself. And... Oh, man. It's long gone. It's going to happen to everybody at some point. <laughs> Not necessarily. I've seen a few uh, old gents with rather long hair. Yeah. And... So what's the plan? Obviously, is this part of us towards going forward? The plan is that humankind advances and gets past the kind of problems we've got currently with Trump and all that kind of crap, and that we end up making great music, taking over the world, and veganism being a better thing in the universe. But also, also that we're going to have a great gig, and the audience are going to have a great time. Well, I'll be running around. Hopefully. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah. And um, actually, what I'm really enjoying is being interviewed by people that actually ask good questions and are musicians. Magicians? Magicians, too. A magician, too. He's a magician like me. <laughs> what could you put out of your hat? Um, dangerous question. Well, <laughs> Dead skin, I imagine. <laughs> this point. It, it, yeah. uh, what, I, what I'm enjoying is the obvious number of answers that went through your mind, none of which you wanted to say. Not with my boss up the hero. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Right, okay. So here we go. I've got one question I've been asking everyone this weekend. Yeah. Which is basically, if you're the middle band of three, mm. what band throughout the time that you've actually, or oh, from history of bands, would you like as your headliner? And oh, which man. band would you like that's coming up from the like the the grassroots that you'd like to see as your opener? So, for, 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 can you? Is that to me? To anyone? A headliner Pantera. Nice come come underneath this trigger thumb. Hmm, Trigger Thumb, tell us about him. Bernie, tell them about Trigger Thumb. Trigger Thumb are uh, an awesome band from Leeds Way. Uh, they actually opened for us in Leeds last night. They're a three piece, just progressive, mental, rhythmical chaos, uh, but really melodic, really listenable. So, yeah, and they're friends of ours. We've known them for a long, long time. It's great to see them coming up and doing well. Superb, 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 superb. Right, so moving from forward from HRH, where you, what you, you, you know, do you expect to do next year and move forward? Have you got toured? How long is this tour going to last? Uh, any big things coming up, that sort of thing? Dave, you take that one. So, <laughs> well, we're, um, you want to look at cool. Um, yeah, we're on tour at the moment, uh, about halfway through, so we've still got a few more shows left on this tour. And that's pretty much us for the year. Um, we're just sort of cracking on with writing a, a new record, a uh, full-length album. It will hopefully come out next year and some more touring, go out into Europe, uh, possibly the States, that kind of thing. Cool, cool, cool. Some good festival slots. It's fantastic. States. Yeah. Have you cracked your cracks? Been to the States before? We haven't. Uh, these two have been the next. We've done both. Uh, I, for my sins, also own a guitar company, and as part of that job, um, we take a bus across both coasts of the States and just... Do, do like Robin Rabier with a backing track kind of look at us show and that's been really good fun but we're hoping to do it without that and just with the band again in a bus uh, and that will be fun at some point I'm sure it will I'm sure it will so where, where can uh, punters actually find you guys I mean obviously all, obviously all the social medias that sort of yes. thing yeah. and uh, your Spotify that sort of thing uh, yeah we've got Spotify Twitter Face you Page Gram everything <laughs> sure. Sure. I haven't had enough <laughs> coffee today to speak yeah. coherently, yeah, to speak, yes, there's a reason it's free, <laughs> to speak coherently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pr primarily for us, YouTube is our main focal media. Yeah, so. I've caught a few of your tracks out there. Ah, thank you very Shit, much. Shit, It's progressive, best described, best progressive rock. Uh, so now, we, although we have elements of progressive rock, we prefer not to call ourselves progressive. We're really an alt-rock band, mm -hmm. but the thing is that these three are also in kind of a proggy metal band. So there are prog elements, but I'm kind of a grunger. Ooh. I'm a big Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Pearl Jam, Jacked Up dude. Like a good. <laughs> and we will. So for me, it's like that's in my head, and then it's like that kind of thing mixed together. Superb, it's superb. A dirty superb. milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> right. So as, as far as your influences go as individuals and musicians, I mean, I'm, as a drummer, I mean, what's, what's, what's your favourite sort of uh, style of drummer? I mean, do you, do you come from a jazz sort of background? Or? No, no. That's why I could ask this question. Good, good. Drilling. <laughs> well, not literally. I think uh, 
steady on. I think groove was always has always been at the heart of what's kind of made me enjoy listening to music. So I've always kind of been into groove, um, like funk, I guess, originally, and then some kind of more like probably stuff like the Zappa when I was a teenager. And then I kind of like reined all that in, and I guess sort of like Limp Bizkit, Audio Slave, Rage Against the Machine, Incubus. That you for us, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> if you like that that whole that whole sort of scene for me, drums wise, made a huge difference, and it kind of showed me how I can pull it all the more like technical progressive elements into just heavy grooves and stuff that makes music move and feel more accessible and that's kind of what I try to achieve with the drums and door jay fantastic fantastic right I've got one last question for you guys if no one's ever heard of you before mm. and you point them to YouTube what would be the first track you'd point them to to really express who you are as a band our own song you mean uh, Flower of Life Flower of Life our latest single basically Fantastic. Anyway, chaps, it's been absolutely fantastic talking to you. Thanks for turning up. Thank you very much, man. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. And you. And I'll see you front as close to the front of the stage as I can get there uh, later on. To see you guys play, I'm really looking forward to it. You're going to make my dad imagine. Have fun. (laughs)